So I beat Battletoads yesterday, uh, but I think it took me two or three continues. So now I'm after a one credit clear. So that begins now. Here we go. Hi there, Eclipse Moon. I guess, well, I guess it doesn't really begin now. I mean, I was always after... After beating it, I could have one credit cleared it yesterday, or any day. Just have to do the right thing. So I guess it began... Two days ago, or many years ago, depending on how far back you want to go. Or right now, because this specific attempt begins right now. Ah! Try not to knock this one off the. Oh, I wanted to ride it. Oh well. Wait, can I? Oh, I have to be really fast, I guess. And now it's dead. that it shoots a boulder at you. But I guess that's how it goes. Or make it against her Saturn toad traps. Does that imply that she, like, planted them? Along the Wookiee hole? I wonder. I always... considering this, I always thought they were just... Yes! Oh, I went away. Three. I think yesterday I got six. Thank you. 
blocked me. Okay, how many is that? Is that four? I lost count. chance. Oh. Oh well. Level's over. I'm gonna have to get faster if I want to make it. Thing there, they left some utility vehicles at the end of the tunnel. I don't know what the deal is. Like, why? Who left those there? I guess these rats would be riding them. If it wasn't us stealing them. Oh, I missed it. Now I'll have one less life for the section that kills you instantly. Or one less life point. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Oh, no, they gave me a fly. I just noticed my chat window is covered up. I can see it in, I have two windows that show it, but... The main one I like to look at was covered. Hmm. Yeah, you can't see it on the capture, but my CRT is starting to flicker. I don't like that. First one. First section. Here's a jump. Here's another jump. And two. One. Okay. ones. Those ones you kind of got to be prepared for in advance. If you jump too late, you can't land soon enough to jump over the last one. You need some extra space there for it. Okay, what do we got? Three jumps. Okay. 
the weirdo bullet chips. Okay, here's the manual jumps. Ooh. Last section. That was pretty good. I think uh, deathless so far. That's gonna end sooner or later, but runs going quite well. Off to a very good start. If you throw them up, do they like eventually curve down? But it looks like they just. Uh, it looks like they kind of taper off eventually. I threw that down and it still hit him. That's interesting. snowman here. That was accidental. Nightmare on Elm Street. I haven't played that one. I've seen the first two Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Elm Street movies. The second one was really interesting. Um, I heard they go a really different direction in the third one, so I should watch it. I went on a long streak of watching Friday to the, Friday to the 13th movies every Friday to the 13th, and then uh, I finally reached the end of them. Freddy vs. Jason was quite good. That was one of the, the better ones. Fre Freddy vs. Jason is the best for them, like, trying to come up with logic for, like, how their powers work. I think there's a scene where they're arguing how the, like how the dream stuff works and it doesn't make sense but they're arguing with each other about it and I like that it kind of acknowledges or not it, you know what I mean it's like the the character speaking for the audience you know what I mean? Whoa! I just walked onto that platform by accident. I didn't know that was possible. I'll wait for our cube friend so that we don't have to fight it while this spiky, sneaky shell comes up from behind. Oh yeah, I've only seen Halloween once. Um... Oh, weird. I didn't know that snowball would keep... I just... I wasn't ready to go. I didn't realize that snowball would just keep falling down that hill. Interesting. Oh, almost slid off that one. There's where the warp appears. I 
I like how they give you these little bonuses for riding the platform longer than is safe. Oh, first death. No longer deathless run. I haven't died at those yet. In my training. Oh! <laughs> that one was unexpected. Well, they were both quite unexpected, but... Wow. There we go. Um, people tell me a lot about this Silver Shamrock song, which I guess is from... Halloween 3? Apparently that gets stuck in people's heads, so I'm a little worried to see it. Is Jamie Lee Curtis in all the Halloween movies? Or is she only in the first one? Who else is in it? Donald Pleasance? Does he come back? Did he die in the first? I don't even... I don't remember the outcome of the first one other than she lived. Game on. What if I run around to the other side and whack it from that side? Go over to Blarg aggressively. He can get him stun locked before you even before you even before he even moves to. What am I saying? I can't talk. My mind's full of battle toads. And now my battle toads is full of mines. Um, what was I saying? If you if you just go over, okay. No, well, at least I got the one up. If you pick up the, the pipe and go after Blarg really fast, you have time to get him into a juggle loop um, without anything random happening. So that was my third death. I think. RNS layer. One, two, three, star, seven, eight is confirmed for th oh. that that's way too many numbers for a trilogy? I didn't know there were eight Halloween movies, but... You're, you're straining what I can take your word for. 
Because five movies does not make a trilogy, even if one of them has a star. I was watching a Mexican runner speed run abyss, like his world record um, warpless speed run. Just to see what he does. At the beginning of this room, he runs off the snake like you're gonna get the warp for it, but then just waits for the next snake instead of like doing the first little snake thing. I like that as a neat little. Um, neat little place to take a break, <laughs> perhaps read chat. Oh, you're saying one, two, three, seven, and eight feature Jamie Lee Curtis. But, th but in three, she's not herself. Seems kind of odd that you'd bring the original actress back. But not to play herself. That kind of reminds me of the like the Planet of the Apes remake where Charlton Heston was somehow an ape. I slip up on the first platforming part of this stage so often in a very recoverable way generally well this is already the last room in the snake pit. So you're saying there's a new trilogy as in they're making three movies? Are they like one movie into it or? I don't know. <laughs> this is sort of the reason I don't... I don't keep track of movies that haven't released yet. And I just keep them out of my mind mostly. Trying to show off for, for Chinese Hulk? Well, he should be playing the game, so he's not going to see this. No, I just want a one credit clear. <laughs> for me, because it's fun. It's too late for Deathless. I think I've had three deaths so far. Rockets would be really tough to do deathless, I think. Right here, when there's four. Yeah, I tend to take one death to them. So that's my fourth death. I've gotten past them twice without dying, but... 
in, I guess this is my sixth attempt at, at the game in the last three days. part always scares me. Okay. Now we got the fire to deal with. This fire, as well as the mines, are like in that... Sorry, it's hard to dock. There's my one up. After I get the one up, I try to ride along this line here so that I can sort of see ahead. I'll, I'll just pause for a second, but... Yeah, I think it's a really great game. Like, it's... It's really hard, but I don't mind the ways in which it's hard. I never got... I don't feel like I learned to beat it by abusing its AI or, like, working around it. I feel like... It's quite learnable and beatable as it's put together. Unlike, uh, say, like Ninja Gaiden, where I feel like most of learning that game is just learning the one way to do things where enemies are just coincidentally in the right place. That kind of thing. Um... Where, like, maybe that is the intended way to play it, but it just feels annoying, because it feels like, oh, there's one way to get through this room, and this is how they... It's not like I can react to different situations, it's just like... You find the one path that works and, and do it, but I don't know. Uh, like, there's very little randomness. So, like, that fireball section, and then the mines... Um, oh, and this are, like, some of the few places in the game where there's random anything. Oh, I missed the one up. <laughs> um... Um, so those are those are the the sections that are m most kind of uh, or least resilient to lag, but all of them can be done with a bit of lag. Um, I used to pause sometimes in the fireball section if it ever just every once in a while. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> so I had one death to the rat rockets on this level, so I think I'm up to five deaths. Okay. Yeah, you can hang out at the bottom in the rocket section, because the ones at the bottom uh, do not collide with you at the bottom. That seems an oversight, but I, I think it's more fun to dodge them. Um... Plus, if you stay in the middle, it's easier to get up at the top for that one up at the end. Which I was trying to get, but I missed. Partly because I, I lost count of how many uh, rocket segments there are. I think there's nine volleys of rockets. Um, but the rockets aren't... There's, there's a lot of lead time on those. You have lots of time to react to that. Um, the fireballs, you don't have a lot of time, but there's enough still with a bit of lag. And you can kind of pause your way through it if you you need a little bit of extra boost. Um, same with the mines. 
But other than that, there's not much, like, real randomness to this game, or real twitchiness, I should say. Like, most stuff is very predictable, anticipatable. Oh! Well, that's it for my rod. But that's okay. jump. <laughs> okay. Here's the... Oh, I see. The uh, direction of the bubbles tells you the direction of the fan. So I, I could have seen that the fan earlier in the level was um, blowing out rather than sucking in, but I just didn't remember. I, I was surprised by that earlier, I was watching Chinese Hulk play. Not much time for that, but there's enough time. There's enough time for everything, I guess. Except in the rat race. There's no, no time for anything. Oh, I think this is the end of the stage. Quite a death yet. Now it's a death. <laughs> I think that's death number six. Seven. Reminds me of uh, Smash Brothers, like, the more damage he takes, the higher he flies. Oh, it landed on me. Oh! Four deaths to Robomanus. So does that put me up to nine deaths? I've lost count a little bit. I think it's nine. I'm going with nine. Terror tubes. Okay, so I can't can't hang out at the beginning of this level because you gotta deal with this guy first. Oh, oh, I forgot I had to move left.
Okay. Wait, is there one more? There's one more. I just... Why am I missing these? Not that it matters. Okay. First check one. Let's read, read chat. Ash Trap 94, I forgot if I said hi, but... Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know. I played this. I didn't own this as a kid. Um, I had a good friend of mine had it, and we'd always play it two player, and we'd always die on the turbo tunnels. Um, and then I don't know. I think when I was about twenty, I played it in an emulator, beat it with save states. Uh, and that felt quite satisfying. And I forgot that I'd used save states for so from for years after that I thought I'd beaten it. And then um and then when I was about twenty maybe about thirty, I had an NES for the first time. And I thought I should learn to beat it. So I did. I think I made some other attempts over the years, but... It was only about... I think it was like seven or eight years ago that I beat it for the first time for real. But I don't know, it's really funny, like sometimes I think I've beaten a game and I just haven't. Like I'd played it or I'd watched someone beat it and not remembered correctly. Can't always trust my memory. That is a nice thing about streaming things. <laughs> if I did beat something, I can find out. Because I'll have a video record. Yeah, I knew about the extra lives code. I definitely used that um, continually while training for this game. And I think I used Game Genie codes to um, practice levels and stuff. But, like, the nature of this game is, like, once you... Most of it is beaten by knowledge. Like, once you have a good strategy for each level, it's fairly reliable. You'll probably take a few deaths to things that are a bit random and beyond your control, but there's enough deaths, there's plenty of extra lives to get you through it, you know? So it's not... I don't know, it's one of the least unfair hard games, in my view. Like, I, I just really like... Um, the way it responds. I don't really like the rat race and the Klinger Winger kind of... how much precision they just require for long sustained periods of time, but... I seem to be up to it still. I imagine at some point in my life I'll be, I'll be too old for it and not able to do it, but... I seem... seems like I can still do them fine. You recorded one of your Darkwing duct tapes. That's... wow, that is a 90s feel, like... Oh yeah, there's no sense in beating this one up. 
We'll just block my path. Where's the second one? There it is. This is the one I gotta worry about. So I like this safe and slow strategy of just fading them out over here. I think I messed up the timing though. Oh, no, there's still enough time. And I like how they just kind of spacing of that is really critical because you can you can throw yourself in front of them and get a bit. Okay, getting that fish out of the way is nice. Doesn't always work out. This shark is a problem. Sometimes comes back here, sometimes doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> really. But, but like choosing stuff that you want to tape over or not. The Clinger Winger, um, it, it, I don't know, it's, it, both the Rat Race and the Clinger Winger both felt impossible to me at first, and then proved themselves not to be. Uh-oh. Ooh, <laughs> I got the tap. I forgot what I was doing there. So if I wanted to be really safe, I could fight the shark here. Maybe that's not really safe. <laughs> Maybe it's better to run for it, I don't know. But that particular shark has like more hit points than I think every other shark. I think you have to hit it seven times. My Cyrillic is not very good. And I don't really know Russian at all. I see something about Dendi there. He'll have to translate for me. Gosh, trap 94. Bring bat shark repellent. Oh, you played it on Denny. I saw an interesting Russian translation of it. And at first I thought that was official, but then I realized it wouldn't have been. But it was like... I was looking for the different versions of Battletoads, because there's like a PAL version, and then there's the, the Japanese version. Those are both official. Um, it was really easy to find a Russian version as well. Yeah, I don't really have a good strategy for that shark. You get infinite one... <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. I'm gonna jump over it twice. And follow it down the tube. Um, sometimes I get better luck than others. I don't... Maybe I should wait for it to like snap at me and then kind of go past it.
Feels cruel. Whacking that little fish there, but... <laughs> I was worried it was gonna wake up. Maybe the best bet is just to fight it. But then again, I died once trying to do that, so I don't know. But if it was out of my way, it would be... Distracted by chat. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, I did... I did... Um, I've met several people from Russia who were fans of Battletoad. It's a good game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much more I could say than that, but it deserves to be played. Ah. Uh, okay, Orange Fish has gone off on an adventure that could be dangerous later. There we go. Okay. I've made it. But I'm I'm glad a game like this has had international attention, I guess I should say. But I always like hearing about... Like the games I... I played being appreciated in other places. the rat for good luck. I like that the Dendi had that elephant mascot. I thought that was cute. Okay, so this part... weird to me at the start. My best bet seemed to be hesitating there. Oh. Too early. So the turnarounds here are harder with lag. But they never change, so... It's all doable. There we go. So there I can't jump for the first second or two. Yeah, Battletoads and Double Dragon. That's an interesting one. a bit at the start there. See if I can't catch up. Oh, it looks like the rats had good luck. I think I'm gonna have to bop them a bit here. I 
Okay, here goes. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Now, if I could beat this boss deathless, which I should be able to, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you get the horns. I still haven't worked out. <laughs> Great start on Slaughter. Well, at least I did the rest of the rat race, no death. I had a lot of deaths to the shark in the that last shark in the terror tubes. Um I had four deaths to Robo Manus. So I'm probably sitting at about fifteen deaths at this point. I like this strategy of whacking him at the wall. That seems to work well. Didn't get... Didn't get fully wiped there. There we go. Don't read chat during bosses. <laughs> Death during one up loop don't count. Well, not to the game, I guess, but to me they count. They don't count against the one credit clear, though, which is nice. So, yeah, like. I don't know, this level just took practice. With practice, eventually, just get the timing right and. And really, it's just kind of one timing that you need to learn. And then you apply it at every corner. So, anticipating what's coming next does help. Um, but it, it's just funny, like... For a level that seemed impossible the first time I got to it, um, you know, once I'm back up to speed on it, I, I feel like it's one of the less challenging levels. Just kind of odd. Like, less challenging in an ongoing way, like, once... Once I'm good on it, like, I rarely make mistakes on it, if you know what I mean. Alright, I can read chat while I'm holding the Hypno Orb. I cleared Buzzball? I gotta fight it now. You had turbo buttons? Solar Jetman level? Yeah, I've, I've seen the, the, um, the smile with no eyes. This is my current strategy. Um, trying to get it locked in the corner and throw it. Or mostly throw it. 
but it seems if I do this, it doesn't land on me. Occasionally I do that, but as long as I keep punching, it doesn't land on me afterwards. I watched TMR's run, the world record run. He just kind of blocks it in the corner with dashes. Guess is the fastest way. Seems to be getting up a lot. I'm, I'm worried about getting zapped. You tap in opposite directions to dash. Is that how he does what looks like a dash in place? I thought he was just tapping really fast. So you can press left, right to dash, eh? I gotta try that later. Not right now, though. Got in one zap. Oh, two zaps. Didn't make this level deathless. But yeah, like, having watched, like, a world record run, <laughs> it's definitely not a good, uh, two deaths? I think it probably just needs, like, one more hit, maybe two. I didn't hear the the death sound. I was just worried I soft locked myself for a second there. I don't know if you can soft lock that boss, but like not unheard of. You still have to double tash tap in the dash direction. Oh, sorry. Forgot I gotta fight this guy first. Okay. There's a cooldown period after a headbutt. Oh, okay. I see. Wow, that's really interesting. GameStop. Do you have Battletoads? It's not GameStop, but I do have Battletoads. How's it going, Collectophone fan? 06. Bros do half a block of damage. Are you saying that, like, the... the fact that I'm throwing the Hypno Orb is a very slow way to kill it? Rare Replay? What's Rare Replay? I've not heard of that. They're like an official... Rare... Battletoads video site? Or something?
I need to not... I need to get out of the habit of running from them from the outset of the battle. <laughs> Missed my dash there. I think if I run towards them, I can get a hit in consistently. It's just too scared to. <laughs> There we go. Oh, this is the, the Toad Eater. There it is. Okay, so first checkpoint reached. That jump. So, landing on that platform, for some reason yesterday I died four times on that platform there, and I don't know how you can miss it, because I think all you have to do is hold jump. But somehow I missed it four times. Like, I it just fell through it. Rare replay adds rewind and infinite lives. Re-release of 30 re- Oh, okay. Was that on Xbox? Or is that on Xbox One, or is that on... 30 rare games. Okay, so this one... troubles me. sound didn't seem to be matching the drops. There it goes. Is there an enemy here? Oh, there it is. This, this enemy has way too much health. Like, it really shouldn't have this much. Joe I've not played that one. I've seen people play it. I should check out Rare Replay and so I might not own the right console for it. I do technically have an Xbox One, but it's not mine. So I, I don't get to keep it in the long run. It's a loner. What do I think Rare <laughs> Replay costs? I don't know. I, this is the first I've heard of it. Uh, do I want to hang here? There. I would guess either like $30 or $60, but I don't know. Oh, do you have to buy... Okay, here's the other checkpoint. I wasn't ready for that guy. I'm glad he did something I could deal with. Okay. A <laughs> uh, couple more hangs. That's my first death on the revolution, <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't think it was fast enough on that. Oh, 
I'm gonna get a pre-jump just to just to make it fast. Uh, that would have been good, but there we go. There we go. Saber way, Saber Wolf game. Surprised that this was my undoing. Well, I shouldn't be that surprised. I've had trouble with them. Oh, it's this. The weaker cousin, Green Cloud. Only five hits instead of seven. GB, GBA Saber Wolf game. There were a, an awful lot of GBA games that I haven't heard of, and I ha I had a GBA, but I feel like like there was it must have been inexpensive to develop for or release for or something, because there seemed to be a ton of stuff. From it. Okay, so the platform's not coming. I gotta land here. Oh, okay, there we go. Is this the wind? This is the wind. It's time to go! Wow. Puzzle game starring a man wearing nothing but underwear. That sounds like me a lot of the time when I was playing GBA. It was a good one to play, you know, like in the bathroom or lying in bed or something. Funny, like these green clouds are so rarely able to hit you. I got a kith. Is that what you you call it when a green cloud touches you? This is it. Uh oh. Okay. No! Woo! Used to having this much trouble with the wind section. Like I have died on it before, but was this only two times in a row? Yeah, I don't have a... Once I hit him once, you know, he's in a good pattern, it's just... I don't 
have a good sense of how to get him at the right distance to whack him the first time. <laughs> I got that again. Yeah, that was that weird thing where I think sometimes that platform doesn't appear. And you have to grab the pole again. Oh! That's a rare miss, too. Unlike this game, which is a rare hit, you should say. But, um, yeah, my lives aren't showing. Ah. Oh. by that thing. Wow. I thought I was going to die from that. Oh, that felt lucky. That fight was chaotic. The GPA and DS games were released after Rare was purchased by Microsoft. That makes a lot of sense. Almost missed that again. Okay, it's time for the wind. Got it, okay. Dark queening time. bit low. Oof. Wow, she's really coming after me in the corner here. Still haven't quite. Ooh, I got juggled. I'm still trying to learn how to catch her in the air, but. Don't know that 
displacement for that yet. I keep see, seeing people advise not attacking her when she's facing you, and I think that's bad advice. I want to take the death just for fun. <laughs> just because it amuses me. Robomanus, Blaggy, speak to your queen. I'll restore you both. Ah, uh, that was good. Yep, that's the one credit clear. <laughs> yeah, I, f I figured it would it would happen on the next time. Like the first time I beat it. Um, the next time I beat it was a one credit clear, uh, like some years ago. Ah, what a good game. I kind of feel like playing Game Boy Battletoads now, so I might actually switch over. Now play the bug fix wrong hat. I like the bugs in this game. <laughs> 